We got the C202D you guys voted on. Let's go take this thing to the A point. Departing Charlie 3, heading to Alpha. Alright, we're gonna do about a 150 knot climb on There's this guy. There's a about 1600 meters on Alpha. And another fighter about 1200. Understood. A prediction for kill? Ooh, yeah, let's see. Uh, what is this? The C202D? First sortie kill. Hold on. Enemy player kill. Yes. You will score kill. No, you will fail. Uh, we'll do two minutes on that because we're going to be in combat pretty quick. You guys don't have very long on this one. Let's do one quick little orbit here. How's my let's 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 get my trim under control as well. Just one little quick orbit while that prediction takes place and we grab a little bit of altitude. I do need to try to get into the A point though. I'm not, I'm actually going to turn back in the A point now. There's a nice little furball happening in Alpha. Big old furball down there in Alpha right there. Yeah, I'm in the middle of it. Looks like three enemy fighters. Alright, you guys about halfway done on the vote. I've got a shitload of votes for yes, but very little for no. Right now there is a 1 to 27 ratio payout for the no. So if I fail... The likely your 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 payout for no is like incredibly good right now. If you put ten points on no, you're gonna get back like two hundred seventy, which is fucking sweet. All right, I'm counting uh, six in the A point. I'm showing up now. We are losing the A point. We are outnumbered. Yeah, I believe at least five of those are gonna I have not seen more flashes of blue names. Yo, v 4 Nolly. Oh, 07, my guy. Hello. All right. Let's see what's going on here. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Right there. That's definitely enemy. Yo, all right, let me see here. The vote is over and it's 5149. Good votes here. I think this guy might I I think this might be the biggest threat right right here. I think this guy's got multiple kills. Got him on fire. P-38 is on fire here, and he's down. I think that was their number one player, too. Yeah. Uh, we've got an enemy tracking me there. That looks like it could be a... Uh, like a hurricane. Taking off again. Six. Yo, what's up? Wing ding dong. How you doing, Captain Left Hook? Wing a ling ding ding dong. Diving on a... Uh, typhoon? Typhoon's going down. I got, uh, looks like times three on my tail, dragging them north eastbound in the A point. I got two of them are critically injured behind me. One's leaking oil, one's leaking water. The water's the higher threat. I've got one healthy individual behind me. I'm dragging north eastbound. Need help. Alright, yo, congratulations to my yeses. 
We are dragging all these enemies away from each I'm other. About cucumbers, oh. Copy that. Uh, I've got some space. I've got uh, 1v1 now. I'm going into flat scissors with this one enemy. Bogachog is here. He's supporting. I'm defensive. Starting to maneuver hard. That P38 is coming back again. Behind you, I don't think you're it's main target right now. It was the uh, the uh, windows were open, the doors were open. He had his like cockpit opened up. Bogachoke has one on his tail. We are in trouble. We are outnumbered. I'm pulling on the P38 now. Multiple enemies out there. There's times three enemies now. All right, yo, congratulations to my yeses. Bam, all right. Let me see, what objectives do we have? We just need to pick up. Let's bring out the C-202 again. Departing Airfield 7. Me. Let's see, second, uh, second sortie on the... Uh, C202. Two minutes to decide, boys. Two minutes to decide. Second sortie. Will we get another player enemy kill? Yeah, there's a shit. Oh, shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me concentrate on flying first before I do all that. Here we go. Uh, yes is won the first one. We we got a kill on the enemy P-38. We we killed their top player. I've decided to take a break from flying combat, mostly MFSF now, but it's still fun to watch. Yeah, man, um, I used to play a lot of Microsoft Flight Simulator, man. That's it's a cool game. Uh, the armament on this game is two 12.7s and two 7.7s. We're halfway done on the vote. We got 53% for yes, 47% for no. Um, I need to get myself a proper HOTAS and rudder pedals. I really want to spend a lot more time playing sim. Well, Jimmy Black Flag, dude, you can play sim without that shit. I mean, like, by all means, go upgrade if you're, if you're interested in it. But I play, like, all the events and stuff. I do that mouse and keyboard. I played with a console controller for two years. Um, I still play mouse and keyboard sim from work. I don't have a joystick at work. I don't even have head tracker at work. I just play with a, I just play with mouse and keyboard. I play top tier sim at work with mouse and keyboard. Uh, it's it's a hundred percent doable. So don't let your lack of equipment keep you from something that you want to do. If you absolutely feel like you must have the hotas in order to enjoy it, mm, sure. But if you think that you can't enjoy it without a mouse or like without a joystick, then I hope that I can dispel that that myth. More practice, yeah, and that's and that's the thing, J Jimmy Back Black Flag. If you're terrible at mouse and keyboard sim, like getting a joystick is not gonna really help all that much, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's it's a lack of practice, not a lack of good controller. You know what I mean? Add some EC7 to it, yo. We got a 60-40 split here. 60-40 split. I got in. I believe I got an enemy contact low here northbound. And I got another one here just in front of me. That one is me. Okay, copy. Then we've got a, an enemy north of us moving away. I'm going to join up on you. Wait, you're Bogachog? No, I'm depth. Oh, you're depth. Side. Okay, I'm yeah. Right above, right above Bogachog. Yeah, ha yeah, a absolutely, yeah. Uh, I have I figured out my trimming, but I didn't I didn't post it. I can I can do that today if you remind me after this EC's done.
Yeah, sticks are a little pricey now. Yeah, a lot. Like, like I got my T16000 for, I want to say, like, 40 or 50 bucks, and I think they're now, like, 80 bucks. Uh, last time I looked at one, which admittedly was a long time ago. I've got somebody zoning in on me here. I think I got an enemy here coming in head on. Yeah, lo looks looks like a P40 here. I'm in I'm in uh, I'm offensive, and it's a typhoon. Yeah, another long six. Yep, I see that now. I'm gonna pull him hard. He's he's got the gun pod, so he can't turn hard. Oh wait, no, he's 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 got rockets. Never mind, it's a P39 with rockets. Got him here. Heading to the A point. Yo, know, congratulations to the yeses. Yeses took it home. One, One more on my tail, yeah. Uh, I got bad damage to my engine now. I need the RTB, but I'm gonna There's try to lead, lead this guy away. I just got my elevator cable shot out. Last call. Nice kill, Mr. Krabs. Yo, congratulations to my yeses. I shot him up a little bit, but I don't think it was fatal, and I got something else on my And, hold on, I just need to change one thing real quick. Okay, it was fatal, never mind. P38, that's on me. Yo, guy is Tello, 07. Quick question, quick answer, bro. Yeah, absolutely. Gaius, uh, you can always leave... You can join Sim. You can join Sim and leave Sim anytime you want. Uh, you can, like... like I, I could leave this match, go take a 10-minute break, and come back and rejoin the same match. You will, you will not get your full experience. Prehistoric Pro, you have no... You, you, you realize I have no idea. It's you, right? I just I, I I just chased you until there was a P39 on my tail. I would say I wanted you badly, <laughs> at, at all. I'd say you're the first enemy that I encountered, and I battled you until a P39 got on my tail, and then I took him out instead. So, the interesting uh, interesting version of wanted you so badly. Um, here's the thing with with leaving and joining rooms. Oh, Gaius, uh, an arcade match. Oh, then then yeah, like if if you leave an arcade match early, that's that's not good. You don't want to do that. Sim matches you can leave early. Arcade and RB matches you should stay. Uh, you should stay until you're out of vehicles, or a victor is determined. All right, let's go see if there's anybody. Oh, hold on. Prediction. We got uh, third sortie. Uh, you get less experience, you hurt your team, you hurt your chances of winning, and you could possibly lock out your crew. If you're in a sim, nothing happens. If you're in R RB or arcade, then it's then it's bad. If it's air RB and you leave after one life, then you're good. Uh, but what I mean is you should stay until you are out of spawns. I got a P-38 up here at least, and then I got, uh, looks like four others un-ID'd. We got an XP-55 in the mix. The 
Engaging a P-38. Uh, guys, dude, I really don't know the formula for it, I just know you get less. But as soon as you leave early and it- oh shit! I got the kill though. Yes, <laughs> I'll fucking take it. Yes is yes is take it. Um, your chances of winning the game if you leave early go down. If your if your if your chances to win go down, so too will your rewards. Like you want to help your team win. You always want to win. Curses. All right, hold on. Start prediction. This is a uh, fourth sortie. There's a lot of action going on here. Somebody cover me. Yeah, he did. He he did maneuver kill me. I'm not really used to this plane. I uh, I rolled out of that and expected to expected to have a. better ability to pull out of that. Yeah, like, there, there, there's all sorts of formula. Like, like Jimmy Black Flag is saying, there's, like, winning the match, there's, like, you know, playing more of the match, there's more activity, um, you know, there's, like, getting more of, of your booster times. There's, there's all sorts of shit. You don't hear any sound like an alarm or something. I mean, it depends on the it depends on the plane you're flying. Some aircraft have uh, some aircraft have warnings. Some don't. So maybe your aircraft doesn't have it. And yeah, if if I mean, I, I assume you mean missile, but rockets will never give you a warning. Rockets are not tracking you; they're just dumb fired. Missiles, you can sometimes get warning, like if it's a, you know, if it's like a radar or something like that. I don't really know about the specific planes, guys. But some aircraft have lock-on warnings, some of them don't. And some lock-on warnings, you know, read, you know, certain type of sensors. Got an enemy off the left side, going to help. Well, there you go. Yeah, if the AV-8 doesn't have an RWR, then and then it ain't gonna work. Engaging a Firecrest here. Firecrest is hurting pretty bad. Nice kill. Multiple enemy contacts over here. Uh, we did not get a kill on that one. We got the assist on that one, but no kill. I'm uh, proceeding westbound to try to climb above these opponents. There's multiple uh, multiple bogeys maneuvering here. All right, I got uh, what looks to be a sea, uh, a, a typhoon down there chasing somebody, going in to help. Got him. Peter Lee towards that mark. Big crabs is above me here.
Got hits on him. Crabs is down. All right, yo, congratulations to the yeses. Yes, you will get a kill. I th oh, never mind, it's uh, going down. P-38 on me, I'm in trouble. I'm defensive, P-38. Taking him in uh, rolling scissors here. I'm gonna try to bleed as much of his energy as I can. Hook, hook him up for you. Hit him. Nice hits. Nicely done. All right, he's off me. He's uh, he's going for you. I'm offensive on him now. Got hits on his number one. Secondary contact here. Uh, no, I don't think it's better to play with VR. I think it's an option. I don't think it's better or worse. I think it's just play with what you got. Yeah, it's, it's just a personal pre I mean, it's like, is it better to play on, uh, you know, on a high refresh rate monitor or a large resolution monitor or PlayStation? It's like, dude, just play with what you got. I'm, uh, supporting Bogachog. Looks like a sea hurricane here. Thanks, nice, 55 Just took the tail off. Right behind oh, you. Good. That's Trek IR, guys. No, this is a uh, XP55 is here. Trek IR is how I'm moving my head. There's. on the XP-55 here, offensive, getting low on ammunition. He's stalling, kind of. XP-55 is here, hard left turn low, very low energy. I got a secondary contact on me now, P-38. Tertiary contact on me now, unknown. I am uh, egressing, low ammunition, Winchester. P-38 on my tail now. Nice kill, Mr. Krabs.